everybody um, welcome back to my channel um, I just got back from Goodwill and as you saw in my video or my picture um, I had three huge bags um, that I ended up picking up um, so I went with the intention of looking for some things for the house and then I did want to look at a few things for clothes but there wasn't anything kind of on my mind um, but I did end up scoring pretty good at this one um, so I'll just get right into it. I'll do the house haul first and then I'll do clothing and then I will add in some clips from the dressing room of what the clothes um, look like on me. So let's do the house stuff first. So the first bag that I have, um, the one thing that I did go looking for, I did find one. So my kitchen is mostly like a light, I'm just sitting in my bedroom by the way, just wanted this haul to be nice and cozy. Um, but, um, my kitchen is like a really light gray, so kind of like this wall color, but a little bit more like milky and muted. And my furniture, or the cabinets are white, um, with black, um, like handles, and the stove, the microwave, the fridge is black. Um, and then, so it's all very neutral colors. Um, and so I thought it would be nice to... Um, accent with, you've, I'm sure you've seen this on Pinterest all over the place, um, where they have these kind of plates and they're kind of on the, they're, they're on the wall. So I kind of thought this would be nice because they have like an archway, um, to get in and out of the kitchen and above that I don't have anything. And then off to the side, I just have kind of like the cabinets starting. So I thought that would be interesting to go from like the top kind of where the archway is kind of go down kind of in like a swoop. Um, right to the counter um, and so I was looking for like white plates with like that blue um, that really pretty navy blue um, patterns on it and you'll notice my whole haul and I did not mean to do it all I found is mostly like the dark blue navy patterned haul so it was pretty interesting when the guy was backing it up he's like oh you were going for a color theme today and I was like no <laughs> it just happened um to be color themed. So this one, it says it's for the Norwegian American Museum um, Centennial from, this is in, from Iowa, um, Potters for 200 Years, Wooden Sons in England from 1877 to 1977. I don't know what that means, but this one is the 1877 Westerheim building museum I don't really know but this plate is everything that I was looking for it's huge so here's my hand um, and it has really beautiful floral details so this was a great start I wish I could have found more plates but um, this will be a great start so this is one thing I went in there looking for um, the next thing is also an item that I went to look for um, so in my bathroom we have oh um, this plate was $1.99 and it's a green sticker. The day I went in was orange. It was 50% off. Didn't find a single orange item. So I paid full price for everything. Uh, but the second thing I went looking for was a container just like this. It has a little bit of a pattern to it. Um, this one was also $1.99 and this one is huge. So I can fit my whole hand in there. Um, in my bathroom, we just put in open um, like floating shelves. And I wanted a container so I can put bath bombs in um, and kind of display it on that shelf. Because right now I have them just in their little like paper bags in a closet. Um, but I wanted to display them a little bit better, also get to them a little bit easier and just remember to use them. Um, so I thought this would be a really great container to put on that shelf. I'm also going to put a little pot with a little plant, some towels. So maybe I can show you once it's um, decorated and once I have this guy in use, as well as the plate. Uh, maybe I can put an update like goodwill finds to use kind of thing um so i think maybe let me know if that would be interesting um the next thing i found i did not go in there looking for so it's this little um it's like a rose gold copper so it's 2.99 and this has the tag from it so it's world market which is a local store to me or i'm in wisconsin so this i know the store is in wisconsin it was originally 14.99 and it says it's an olive oil Cruquette, cruette, I'm not sure, but it says easy to pour, drip free sprout, tight fitting lid protects oil from exposure to light. So, um, let me get that back on. So it looks like this and it's cute. And if I, 
I don't really use a lot of olive oil like without cooking it um, but this I think would be cute because even if you put like balsamic oil in there for um, or like a vinaigrette or something um, or even any kind of dressing um, if you're having people over I think this would wash out pretty nice hopefully um, otherwise it's just a kind of a cute copper tone accent to that same kitchen um, that is neutral based right now so that was bag number one um, then we have, let's save clothes for last. Then we have a set of these, and I, I just bought something very similar at Michael's, and I paid a lot more money for one. Uh, I bought this tiny little box, one of those, like, storage boxes that you have for $10, and the other one was, like, buy one, get one 50% off. The other one was $8, and they're, they're tiny. They're, like, this tall, this big. Then, I go to Goodwill, and I find set of three this one was $2.99 this one was $3.99 the bottom one was $4.99 and again they're in that navy color let me actually bring it over here they're in that navy color and the pattern is exactly the same and they open it's one of these like storage boxes and the inside is it looks like it's never been used and it's nice because it's a magnetic closure um you won't be able to see that but it's a magnetic closure um and inside it's kind of like a um a tree print and then it's just a map of the um, island of Newfoundland um, and then it's a map of the United States of America they have a little bit of uh, it looks like British America at the top is what it says the Gulf of Mexico United States and territories um, together with Canada so it's just a map um, but again I found three of them which is great for a little set they have little like footed uh, velcro things on the bottom so they're not going to scratch anything um and this one is so cute so they're big enough like this can hold a remote and you know whatever else you have um i in my living room it's also kind of like the same pattern or the same color tone of very neutral it's the same gray that's in the kitchen and our couch is kind of a gray tone but we have this great um grand chair that is like a really deep dark um, navy velvet and so I'm trying to, and we, now we got a rug that has like gray and navy in it. So I'm trying to add more navy accents into the living room. And I thought that this would be nice because we have um, like a, by the couch, we have like a poof in the middle that you can put your feet on. And then on there, I have a wooden tray. Um, so I thought this would be kind of nice stacked together or even on the um, entertainment center, just kind of stacked together with something on top just to kind of bring in more blue into the area, but then we could also put, you know, weird cords or chargers, or I always end up with bobby pins and hair ties on that um, council table. So this, I could always just open it up, throw it in there, so that at least it looks, you know, still presentable, still okay, um, if I wanted to use them. So um, that was a really good find. I did not go in there looking for that, but I'm not, um, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> um, the next thing I found, let me get this out of here. Um, so then I found this wire tray, which seems to have its original tag on there. I can't see it because the Goodwill tag is over it. I can't see where it's from or how much the original price was, but I did pay $4.99 uh, for this wire. And I've seen things like this at Hobby Lobby for more than twenty dollars so i thought five dollars was good it just has a very basic um it just says home in the middle and it's just a really nice uh, wire tray and it's very big like compared to my hand um it is a very good decent size i have one of these in the kitchen um that i put in mail and so i thought that even if i don't put it anywhere in the house or even in that bathroom um you know we can hang towels or something off of it um, but even if I don't use it in the bathroom, I thought this would be kind of cute on our, in our backyard, kind of off of our deck. If we hang this on the house, kind of on the siding, um, we could put like cute little gardening gloves, my um, like shears that we do like pruning with around the property and just even like a small little shovel or something because I do love gardening, but I'm very much a beginner gardener. Um, so I don't have that many tools, but I thought this would be kind of cute just hanging on the side of the house. It says home, which is very appropriate. I probably wouldn't change that. Um, or even if I wanted to put a different like emblem or something on it or, um, you know, they have those 
like ceramic or wooden, you know, plastic flowers or, you know, whatever. You could put anything on there, just a little piece of hot glue and stick it on there and it would stay. Um, and then anything in there, that would be cute. So let me know what you think about having this be my little garden basket outside of the house. I thought that would be really sweet. And then come winter, you know, it has these little loops so you can just take it off. Um, and I'll store it in the garage over winter and then bring it back out in the spring. So let me know what you think of this. Five dollars. Um, then next up is I bought a ton of books and none of these books I bought to read. Um, so I have three, uh, quite large books, um, and they're hardcover. And then I have five, um, smaller books and I'm sure I love to read. I'm sure these are fantastic books. I've never heard of this author or this title, but I mostly bought it because of their size. So I wanted tiny little books and then I wanted the bigger books. And I, downstairs, um, most people I would, would believe they would call it a den at their house, but we have the spare room um, that we have turned into a library. So we have um, shelving that we built in. So we have the books and then we have one empty wall. So the, the, the book, shelves they kind of wrap around and I don't think I'll take you there like once I'm done with this idea that I have in my mind if it works out good um I, that one is another video I can include in the um, plate and the bath bomb container um but I have this idea of there's one wall that's empty and eventually we'd like to put seating up against that wall but there's kind of like that chair railing and they have like the wood panels on the bottom and then the top is just gray so what I thought is um, we do, I'm repurposing or doing a project. Um, when we got married, um, we had a huge frame, kind of similar to this, but bigger. And it said like, you know, welcome to the wedding of David and Anna and had a list of all of our people that were in the wedding. And that frame is beautiful. And I haven't done anything with it. It's just kind of sitting in our basement right now because they don't, I never needed to put any large print that big, but I had an idea um, in that picture, we're gonna take out the picture that we have with all of our wedding information. We're gonna put in another quote um, that goes along with reading this quote that I saw that I think is, is amazing. It says that um, a room without books is like a body without soul. Um, and I love that. And I think that it would be great in a huge you know, picture frame kind of like this in the middle of the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this book apart tear out the pages and I'm going to kind of like imagine if this was it um, kind of on the bottom have it sweep and at the top book pages like so I'm going to take this apart I'm going to put them on the wall some of these I wanted them to be little and then some I'm even going to be able to post the actual book on the wall and have kind of like pages fluttering through it if that makes any sense so I wanted different sizes I wanted little ones like this I wanted some bigger ones and books that I'm not um, like this one natural alternatives and other acid blockers what to use to relieve acid reflux heartburn and gastric alignments which I'm sure is a great book but it's not one that I need and it's not one that if I take off the shelf of my library I'm not going to be sad about um, so we'll see. We'll see if I use this book. I also, after I bought these books, I kind of was like, mm, it would be nice if I used a book up there that I, you know, loved, an author that I loved, um, to kind of tear apart that book and post it on there. So I, I'm going back and forth, but there's always a lot of book projects that I find on like Pinterest or even ones that I have up in my head. Um, so I will let you know if I end up using these books or if I end up using like an actual book and an author that I love, um, that if I don't mind taking that apart, but these, this book is really nice. It's really aged. So it's got the, that yellowing, um, pages. This is actually from a library, new Berlin public library ended up at Goodwill, but it's very, um, it's aged and it, it, I think it's going to look really nice. So I will let you know, and I'll probably post a video if it turns out good, maybe even doing it, um, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> um, then the next is just clothing. Um, so the very first thing, I didn't try everything. Well, okay. So the first thing I found was this for my husband. Um, it's Gary brand. It's G-E-R-R-Y. Um, it's just this green kind of like pullover um, sweatshirt type. It has a pocket here. Um, and I just bought this for him. It's a really good condition. He even tried it on yet, um, and it fits him perfectly. But it's a very good condition. So I even thought this would be nice 
for him to throw on uh, when we're walking the dog or now that again we're in Wisconsin so the temperatures are getting cooler so even just to wear the bonfire this was only five dollars so I you know don't feel bad if he ruins it or gets spots on it or something like that um, the next thing I found this I did try on so this will be in the dressing room video that I have um, this is by Universal Threads which I know is a Target brand this one has the actual tag on it, so it has not been worn before. Um, and I paid $4.99 for it. And it's just this very, very beautiful light, um, lightweight sweater. And here is the detail. I can try to bring it up for you guys if you can see the detail. Um, it's just like this kind of oatmeal but white color. And it just has like black um, yarn kind of squibble squibbled um how would you even say that it's like black squiggles kind of like embroidered into it I don't really know but it's lightweight um it fits pretty good it has some room so I thought even now for wearing like um shorts and if you're wearing a t-shirt or a tank top you can just bring this with you because it's nice and lightweight enough and you can even fit into a one of my bags um and then you could wear it in like when it gets colder um in the night so we've got that next up um i have and i have a couple of these shirts already they're those like um what are they called chambray chambray one of those shirts um this one was also actually from universal threads i know there's a target in the same town that i went for this goodwill um i went in new berlin wisconsin if anybody is from wisconsin so there's a target kind of right up the road so i feel like a lot of there's a lot of things that end up from target that still have tags on them at that Goodwill. So this was also a Universal Threads, um, one of those like jean shirts. Um, this one I paid $4.99 for. It has a little pocket. This one's also on my try-on haul. And this one I got is more of like a layering piece. So same thing, it's getting a little bit colder, fall is approaching. This would be nice to even tie around your waist uh, for a little layer and then also to put on when it gets cooler. Speaking of layers, here is another shirt. This one is from Old Navy. Um, this one is just your typical plaid shirt. Um, this one's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a, a dark navy with green and then white and just very, very thick um, plaid blocking, which I prefer. Um, this one's very, very soft. I don't know if it's been worn. It doesn't have a tag, but it's in like it's in perfect condition. Um, so this is another wrap around your waist, carry it on ya until it gets colder, and then this is a good layering piece. So I got that. This one I paid $4.99 for. Do you see where my blue theme comes in from? Then this next shirt I really love. This one is from Suzanne Betro. Betro, I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before. I paid $3.99 for it. This one's also in my try-on haul. It's a t-shirt on the bottom but at the top it's this beautiful lace detail and then the sleeve has a little bit of like a ruffle with that same lace this one is so pretty on and it's nice it's not very long but it's long enough that if you wear jeans it cuts very nicely and then also if i wanted to wear leggings and like put on boots with it um, I could also get away with this as wearing just kind of like maybe a navy undershirt, um, not to break up any of this um, beautiful lace pattern. So if you can see, I have this navy, I have this navy, I also have this that's blue. So, I and then the boxes are blue, the plate is blue. So, um, I was very much in theme for this Goodwill haul. And then the last thing I found um, won't be on... The, there's another clip of me trying things on. There's like a Wisconsin shirt, a t-shirt that I tried on. I didn't go with it. I wasn't, it was $5 and I just couldn't see myself wearing it outside of the house. And I have plenty of things that I have that are, I just wear in the house. So I, there was no need for it. Um, so I didn't, I have that on in the try on, but I didn't end up purchasing it. This I don't have in the try on because it was, these are just leggings. So I didn't think I needed to try them on. Um, but they they won't be out in the try-on haul, if that makes any sense. Um, so these leggings are by Evolution and Creation. I don't know where this brand is from, um, but I paid $4.99 for them. 
and they look like they are in perfect condition as well. Now the lining in the inside is white, nothing is ripped, nothing is torn, nothing, you know, looks used. Um, so I normally would not have looked for leggings at the Goodwill because um, I typically just buy them from like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and they're relatively good price. But as I was walking past them, this, okay, so this is what the top looks like. So it's a black and white, and then you go down, you go down, and then boom, this awesome pattern hits you. So if you open up the leg, and the one thing I loved about them is that they are not a full, I like the cropped leggings, so they go right below your knee, uh, but they're kind of like above your ankle like by like this much, but I don't like the ones that go right to your ankle because then I feel like I always have to roll them and it just doesn't, just doesn't look right um, for me like with my body type. So I always looked for the ones that come kind of in the shin area, which these are, these are perfect. And look at this pattern. Okay, so this one I have to get close up to. Look at this amazing pattern. Look at these colors. I don't know if you can see that well. But these are, I thought they, for five, for, yeah, $4.99, so they were $5. For these leggings, they, I thought were, super cool so just like a black t-shirt some flip-flops the Birkenstocks you know whatever um these are definitely not like fancy leggings by any means but they don't have any pockets they're nice and thick material as well um and they are a uh, I got these in a size small which um should be able to fit me if they don't I can always give them to my sister I think she would like them as well um but I thought that that was a very nice cool patterned legging to find a goodwill too so I feel like I would see the stuff at like TJ Maxx or home or not TJ not not home goods TJ Maxx or Marshalls for sure um it's something I feel like I've seen this in so that was the last thing I found I hope you enjoy my haul um comment below subscribe if you would like because I think I will post a video talking about the book project um showing you that and then also maybe showing you how around the house I've used the things that I buy at Goodwill so um, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.